the power of Fanta and the sea. How to make the sea protect you in terrible situations. Hello my friends, Diamonds, welcome to the channel. I have story, I have gist today because we are in the season of water water season that's where we are everywhere you go on the internet left right and center we are talking about omi the armor omis have taken over the internet <laughs> and to, to be candid it has been a like a good conversation starters because you guys know me i love conversations and i love to talk so let us talk about water okay for Christians because you guys know that I always tell you that I like to talk about things from the perspective of a Christian people can worship what they worship based on their knowledge and where they are and that's fine it's okay but if you consider yourself as a Christian and you would like us to talk about this trending issue of um, respecting the waters paying homage to the waters come closer let us have a conversation so you guys know the story of um, the man that died um, there's a popular Hollywood actor that died and um, junior pope and uh, there's been a lot that has been said which has led to this conversation about the powers of the water the powers in the sea and all of that traditions because there are people who worship this the water element okay so they worship rivers they worship the sea um their, their spirits beings in the waters and all of that so that conversation there's been a resurgence okay of that that conversation even though in recent times on platforms like tiktok i have been seeing a lot of water people like they will go out and do settlement all those type of things that's that's not my business okay because that's the level of their understanding that's where they are in life right now so it's fine okay it's fine for them all right so now as a christian what does the bible have to say about the powers of the water does the bible say there is no power in the water does the bible tell you that water you have to you have to pay homage to the water whenever you want to cross water or when you want to bait because we use water to do practically everything okay there's nothing our body is made up of 70 percent water you want to drink water if you don't drink water in three days you'll be dehydrated um you want to bait you use water is life like water is needed for life so what does the bible tell us about water how should we relate with water i want us to first of all start by going to genesis chapter one because that's the very first place in the bible okay so let's go to genesis chapter one but just to know okay because <laughs> in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was formless and empty and darkness covered the deep waters so the second verse of the bible talks about how darkness covered the deep waters and the spirit of god was hovering over the surface of the water you know the spirit of god remember you know who the spirit of god is now the holy spirit was hovering over the surface of the waters then god said let there be light and there was light and god saw that the light was good then he separated the light from the darkness and god called the light day and he called the darkness night and evening came past and morning came marking the first day then god said let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heaven from the waters of the earth let us pause there you see you know what what um theologians tell you is that oh there was a earth before that god was angry with and he destroyed so they they say they say that this um, genesis story was 
after that first destruction so there was no life the earth was without form so it was only the waters that existed are you following right now when god wanted to form the world he had to speak to the waters i want us to start from there okay he separated the waters of the heavens and he separated the waters of the earth in all of this conversation one thing i like was when i heard some of the people from the other side say no they're water they have water there i say yes you're not correct people are very very correct <laughs> it's okay you understand good now and this is what happened god made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens god called the space sky and evening passed morning came marking the second day then god said let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place okay so dry ground may appear and this is what happened god called the dry ground land and the waters seas and god saw that it was good so the sea is good the rivers they are good this is what god said this is the creation story and god is a creative god so i want us to start from this book of genesis now two things we need to learn as christians as believers as people who believe in jesus right in any situation you find yourself okay you must learn and do what god did when god was faced with the deep waters he spoke he spoke to the waters he gave the waters instructions okay all right so you as a child of god when you are facing you are in the middle of the water you are anywhere you should speak and what should you speak you should not just speak things from your emotions you should say what god said water is good and it will be good for me okay because god the bible says god saw that the, the bible did not say god saw the water and he began to fear or god saw the water and he poured fanta on the water is that what the bible says no he said he separated the waters in the heavens separated in the waters in the earth and he said the water is what it is good so you who is in christ because when jesus died what jesus did for you is that you he, you became part of jesus that's why it's called the body that's why you are part of the body of christ so when you enter a boat it is not to talk that is inside that boat it is jesus you don't come in your name because if you come in your name there are actually powers there okay don't let anybody deceive you and tell you that power not there water no that's not true the, the bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood they are not physical beings but against powers against rulers of darkness against principalities and powers so those beings those things that they talk about that the power they water it is those is those rule those spirits principalities there are principalities in the air there are principalities in the sea there are principality on the land they are everywhere okay but what does the bible say we, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood it's these principalities that we are wrestling against and we don't come in our own authority we come in the authority in jesus not in the authority of this one for christians who we come where under the authority of jesus so you do what god does you speak you speak there are so many scriptures on protection the, when jesus was speaking to the elements you know jesus spoke to things he spoke to trees he spoke to the waters he spoke to the earth he used the earth because he made everything on this earth and he said it was good it was for my benefit so the stars they work for me the star everything do you understand every single thing whatever power is inherent in it because god says it is good 
it work, they work for me they are subject to me okay now let's move on i want to just run i don't want us to spend too much time in this same genesis chapter one after god had created everything okay verse 26 he says then god said genesis chapter one we are still in genesis chapter one let us make human beings in our image to be like us i love this part they will reign over the fish in the sea the birds in the sky the livestock all the wild animals on the earth and the small animals that scurry along the ground so god created human beings in his image in the image of god he created them male and female he created us in his image to be like him to do the things that he does so if god speaks to the element you too can speak to the elements if god says create things out of nothing you too can create things out of nothing if god has authority over the elements over the fish he says we should have what let's read it again he says that i want to go back he says that they will reign over the fish another another translation will say that they should have dominion that we should dominate <laughs> do you understand that we should have power over the fish in the sea and everything that constitutes the sea because they tell us that we they've not done the research on how large how plentiful the sea is and this is the the that this is what bishop Oedipo will call the dominion mandates for you to reign over the fish in the sea the bed in the sky so because there are some that fly there are some spirits that fly at night or in the sky they don't where i come from they will tell you that they don't fly only in the night they fly by day. <laughs> the livestock all the wild animals on the earth yes anything that what is a wild animal let's look at the physical part and anything that is not in alignment with god it says we should reign over them do you understand so stop arguing about whether uh, this one get power and not get power. They get power. But you have been given the authority. You've been given the mandate to reign over those things. Not because of you. Because who are you? You are coming in Christ. In Jesus. Jesus is the one who has given you because Jesus died. That is why we now have the authority, the confidence to say, I reign. The, this was even before Jesus died that God said we should. And that's why, how is it that humans not got knowledge and all those things? Because it is inherent in us. How was Adam able to subdue all the animals? How was Noah able to get everything inside this? Because it is inherent in us to reign over the earth. As long as it is on this earth, right? As long as it is on this earth, you have been given. Not everybody, you who is in Christ. Somebody who is not in Christ has to use this one. Yes, because they don't have the who, who dash them. Who dash monkey banana? Who gave them the rights? They can't. Do you understand? So they have to acknowledge those powers because they are not in Christ. They don't have a superior power. And it is not about pastor. Or, no. He says that he created them male and female. He created them. Do you understand? And he blessed them. He, this is the second time again in verse 28. It says be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea rain the birds in the air and all the animals that scurry along second time this is twice in verse 26 he said the same thing god said the same thing in 28 he said the same thing he says verse 29 then god said look i have given you every seed bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit of the tree for for your food and I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. Everything that has life. And this is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. 
and evening passed and morning came marking the sixth day so this is this is this is the first thing you need to understand as a believer everything is good everything is for my benefits do you understand everything every element the mountains the sky the 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 everything that's why they tell you command your day you wake up in your money and you command them let them align if people scatter them before you walk away you wake up the daughter of the land of judah is awake star moon water you obey me <laughs> because i'm not coming in my name i'm coming in the name of jesus the same power that created everything that we see that same power is available in christ okay all right that being said the scripture is filled with a lot of things about rivers sea and and i love one of my favorite scriptures is that the abundance of the sea has been converted to me do you know what the abundance of the sea is everything inside water is converted it's in the bible it's converted to me it works for me because the word of god says everything is good now if you are if you if you because i know this season a lot of a lot of christians are scared you're afraid a lot of christians are afraid you fear they catch you say so if i walk across water what say i go do because you are feeding your mind with a lot of stuff and that's why i'm doing this i want you to know what the word of god says about rivers so there is so many and when the bible talks about rivers it's usually a symbolism of abundance when you talk about waters fertility do you understand okay Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 7 I'm just going to be reading different scriptures don't just gist okay it says for the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land a land of brooks of waters of fountains flowing out in the valleys and in the hills this is the kind of land God is bringing you into are you seeing it when he brought you into that land is it not what did he tell you in Genesis chapter 1 to rain it did not say you need to beg the water dear child of god it didn't say you need to beg the water the water in the valley the water. no 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 he is bringing you into that land for your enjoyment okay all right <sighs> psalms chapter 72 verse 8 it says he shall have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the year i, I just I'm, I'm i want us to stay here for a bit psalms chapter 72 verse 8 this is what this is look when you i love the word of god so much because there's so much there's so much reality in the word of god there's so much in the word of god that it is such a pleasant experience okay psalm 72 verse 8 this is nkjv it says he shall have i want you to put your name tell me talk put your name will have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth Woo! glory to god glory to god dear child of god this is what the word of god says that you will have dominion <laughs> so when you are about to cross a river in case it's part of your line of work you need to cross a river when you sit down there after you tell god i thank you because the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof and everything that dwells on the earth then you say call your name tell me talk where the word of god says in psalm 72 verse 8 that you will have dominion from sea to sea from the river to the ends of the earth so as i cross this river <laughs> i have dominion over you hey because there are spirits there are principalities that guide these things it's the truth they are there i'm not going to tell you they are not there they are there they're dead there, there but what my bible tells me and because god says i should be like him i have dominion from sea to sea from rivers to the ends of the earth so i step on the river they know that a child of god is there not be mouths is what the word of god says 
I don't come in my name. I come in the name of Jesus. And the word of God is powerful. Do you know that? This thing that we are reading, it is powerful. Don't say your emotions. Don't say, hey, I'm the only child. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> That's succumbing to fear. What you should do is to declare what the word says. That you will have dominion from sea to sea. <laughs> not just one local sea, not only a Nam River, not only River Ninja, that's even a river, it's not a sea. From the Atlantic Ocean to Oceania, to all the water bodies around the earth, the Bible says, I tell me talk about we have dominion from sea to sea, from rivers to the end. That's what you should say. When somebody comes and tells you, you not know say power water get power, no need to argue. As a child of God, you say what the word of God says. That the word of God says, I have dominion from sea to sea, <laughs> from the rivers to the end. Oh, <sighs> I love the word of God. Then he goes on to say, those who dwell in the wilderness will bow before him. And his enemies will lick the dust. The king of Tarshish and the end of the isles will bring present. Hmm? When you pass through the waters, God says, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. So my dear friends, there are so many scriptures that we can read. Okay. So if you are passing through any water body, remember this scripture, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. That God says, when I am passing through the waters, God is right there with me. So if there are any powers in the water, let them go and ask God for water. For let them go and ask God for Fanta. Now God now said they cross this river. Oh. <laughs> God is with me. Okay. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. Okay. So I'm gonna end this video here. I just wanted to encourage somebody that is going through fear right now. Repeat these things to yourself over and over again and let it become part of your consciousness. Alright, thank you so much. Remember to like the video. Alright, I'll see you guys and continue our gist. <laughs>